The following clip is presented to you by The Extreme Life of Matt Hardy. Available every Friday wherever you get your podcasts and at ExtremeHardy.com. Tag Team of the Year. 2022, an amazing year for tag team wrestling. Yes. There were some, uh, across the board, incredible tag teams that I really want to give flowers to. Who are some teams that come to mind for you? Jesus Christ. It really has. I mean, has tag team wrestling ever been greater? It's awesome. Than it is currently. It, it really is. I mean, just, you know, right right off the jump, you know, an FTR stands out. You know, the Briscoes stand out, just with, especially with their trilogy of matches. Uh, you, 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 can't, you have to put Usos in that conversation. Uh, I love the acclaim, how they became such a mainstream breakout act in 2022. I mean, there's so many great Aussie open was really good as well. I mean, there's so many great tag teams out there. I mean, and once again, the, the young bucks, I still, I'm, I'm, I'm very high on the young bucks. They're great. Uh, the, uh, the Lucha bros, you, you can't leave them out of the conversation as well, but I think when it's all said and done, if I have to really highlight one tag team as the best tag team, the standout tag team, 2022, I got to I got to give the Usos their flowers, man. Mm, you feel a little Usy this year, huh? Well, Usy, they had that long run with the titles too, man. I mean, it, 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 tag team wrestling has just been remarkable in 2022, and I love that so much. But yeah, I will give the Usos, and they played a, a very prominent line in a, a prominent role in the Bloodline. So, uh, so I'm going to go with the Usos, man. I want to talk about the Usos then because they are a team that everyone recognizes are outstanding. I mean, they they really are outstanding. But one of the common criticisms of their matches from fans, because I'm on Twitter all the time, is <laughs> that their matches are all generally constructed in pretty much the same way. And, you know, you're going to get a bunch of the super kicks. They added the 3D, the 1D, if you will, uh, to their arsenal in the past year and a half or so. But a, lo a lot of people feel like their matches follow a pretty similar pattern. What's your assessment of them in that regard as somebody who has been in a ring with them? First thing I want to backtrack. You mean Twitter actually criticizes people sometimes? I know, right? Crazy. <laughs> um, you, you should see Reddit, pal. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'll just stick with Twitter. That's enough. Yeah. I, 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 I get my status quo there. Um, yeah, I, 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 I don't know. When, once again, I, I'm I'm okay with that. If you have a formula that you kind of work around, and and I do get it that more modern fans, especially the more diehard fans, they like when people switch it up. But I, I just I love what they're doing. I, I love their act. I think the Bloodline act is great, and and I have worked with them. And you know, at the end of the day, pro wrestling is pro wrestling, and like you're gonna have so many moves that you establish, and that's like your money that people want to see those moves. You know, they want to see you break that out. You know, for me, it would always be you know the leg drop you know, off the top or the second after my, you know, pelvis started becoming destroyed. Uh, you know, the twist of fate, the side effect, whatever it may be. Ho, oh, you know, there's, the, there's these things. And there's also guys like the Young Bucks who have all these signature things they do. Also, they're big super hit guys. But, you know, the secret is just trying to place those things in, in different places and trying to switch up the formula and whatnot. And I, I can get why some people may say the Usos are a little, formu you know, formulaic. Uh, and, and they might want to see something be switched up a little bit. But, but, but I'm okay with that in the big scheme of things. I think people like them. They respect them as champions. And they're just a great, solid team. And they're, they're very legitimate. They look like legitimate tough guys. They, you know, the, the fans are, are watching them. They look like they could whip somebody's ass if they're sitting in the front row watching them, which is very important in pro wrestling as well. Um, so I'm okay with that, even if that is a criticism. And I can see why that is a criticism. But to me, they still, they, they stand on the top of the mountain as the tag team of 2022. Yeah, there's so many great tag teams. And AEW alone does tag team wrestling so well in mm -hmm. how they go about letting guys just go out there and have great, compelling matches. Yeah, and, and, and once again, I, I would say, like the Young Bucks, I mean, they, they obviously ended up taking quite a long time off this year, you know, which probably, you know, hurt them in the running a little bit. But they're, they're incredible. FTR is incredible and incredible in a different way. You know, Briscoes are incredible, once again, in a different way. But these guys are all just like they, they're top of the food chain when it comes to tag team wrestling. So those guys are also candidates. And I mean, I think, I think you even have to include Swerve and Argloria, a team that yeah. was just thrown together yeah. and found such great chemistry together. Right. And you got the guy who's more of the workhorse, and then you have Keith Lee, who is an amazing worker in his own right for his size, but he's still the brute that hits the big power moves and right. a great dynamic for a tag team. That's exactly what you look for in a tag team. Mm -hmm. um, I, 
I think I have to go with FTR this year. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 I mean, I could list them as the top tag team too. Yeah, FTR, uh, FTR had an incredible year. The incredible. Usos wrestled more matches than anybody in tag team wrestling this year, and they deserve a lot of credit for that. They wrestled a ton of house show matches, and every match is always good with them. I, I think they very much belong in that conversation. Um, but uh, FTR. It's like the thing that I always talk about with Springsteen, what makes them great for me, is that every Springsteen concert is a different set list. You never know what you're going to get, which when I watch pro wrestling, if a tag team or wrestler, but a tag team specifically can give me a different match every time out there. Right. And keeps me on my toes thinking, how's this one going to play out? And, you know, here on the Extreme Life of Matt Hardy, we let it play out all the time. We certainly do. That's what gives FTR that upper edge for me because every FTR match, which everyone is great at, at worst an FTR match is good, <laughs> but, but every match is so great. And I never know how it's going to be structured. I never know how it's going to play. Right. Out. And that to me shows just how smart and studied these guys are. Just my take. Just going to say to uh big shout out to Dax too. Dax, Every time you see him, whenever I go down to the, the gym and the hotel, whatever, if he's down there and he's doing cardio, he's watching wrestling. He is a true student of the game. No, nobody watches more wrestling than he does. And big shout out to him for that. He loves pro wrestling as much as anybody I've ever met. It's pretty. Mm-hmm. And, and you really love pro wrestling, too. And uh, I know much to your wife's chagrin uh, that perhaps you love it uh, too much in that sense. He also has one of the best mustaches in the game, which we <laughs> right. always give a little shout out to.